Hey everyone, this is Josh here, creator of the Howler Arcade Controller. First off, I'd just like to thank everybody for their support so far. I'm almost 65% there, and it's only been four days, so <clears throat> thanks a lot for all your support, guys. So I've been having a few questions of people wanting to see the Howler Arcade in action and seeing if it works on a PlayStation 3 and just seeing it hooked up to a computer and seeing how it works. So I'll make a little video here showing the beta versions and how, how they work with uh, PS3 and with a computer. So first off, I'd just like to apologize that right now it's it's all the beta version, so there's a lot of wires soldered on. The production version, as you know, will have the spring connectors on it, so they will require no soldering, and you just push them in the spring connector. So here's the board. Here's my arcade system set up right now. So I've opened it up, and this is the mess of wires behind here is what what it is. So I have two controllers inside there right now. In order to in order to get more than the 26 buttons, so a lot of the guys that want to make four-player controllers with a lot of buttons on them, they would prefer probably to use two of them. But if you were to make just a, a normal like a four button per player four-player, it would be fine to use one controller. But to make a two-player one, it would be more than enough buttons for two-player with seven buttons per player, and then start and coin and all that kind of stuff. So take a quick look here I have the one of the controllers here the one on the right here is connected to this bank of buttons and joysticks right here and as you can see the cable here in the mess of cables is connected to my PS3 so I'm just gonna close this guy up here and demonstrate the that this my controller can actually control a PlayStation so I'm just has have the menu up here so I'm going to Move my controller here, and as you can see, I'm controlling the PlayStation with it. So, those of you who have been asking questions of if it works on PlayStation, uh, yes, it it does work on PlayStation. So, I'll just bring up Limbo here as an example. <clears throat> all right all right here we are in limbo yeah, kind of lame but all right here we are I don't know if you can see it very well but I'm gonna try to show you that I can control it using my joystick so you can move the guy left right push button you can hear it probably seeing a jump it's kind of hard to show pressing the button but yeah, there you go so I can confirm that it works perfectly fine on PS3 obviously the LEDs aren't going to work because the PlayStation won't have a driver to drive the LEDs so they'll just be a static color but you just plug and play basically you plug it in the PlayStation and the PlayStation sees it as a joystick and away you go and I'll probably have like a special mode where you can set it up so you know which button port is mapped to which PlayStation button and stuff like that so there we go there's PlayStation so let's just check out how it works on the PC here so the trackball you see here is lit up by the high power LED output of the beta version of the Howler controller and I just want to show you a few features of how it works on PC so right now I have the as you saw before the two Howler controllers connected so if you look in the in your device if you look in the control panel under devices and printers, you'll see that it comes up as two Howler controller devices. And the reason it shows keyboards is because it's a USB composite device, and the first device in the composite chain is a keyboard. So, so if we go into one of them, go into one of them here, and you right click on it, it shows you that you can do mouse settings, keyboard settings, and game controller settings because it's shown as all three. So if you go game controller settings, and I go on Howler, Howler controller one, look at the properties of that. You can see it comes up with the controller properties. So if it, like, you can't really see both screens at the same time, but if you control it here. You can, can you can see it's controlling it on the screen. Pressing the buttons also works as well. And I also have the um, the other joystick mapped to the Z axis rotation and throttle. So you can see I'm moving that guy there, and he's moving on the screen there. 
And then for the other controller, let's, let's close this up here. You open up the other Howler controller device and you go properties. And you can see that now I have the properties for my other controller. And I move that guy along. So this is using two simultaneous Howler controllers right now. Again, there. Press some buttons. There you go. And right now you can see in the background that I'm using the electronic ice tea trackball um, optical encoder for that right now. In the beta version, that will be built into the Howler controller, so you won't need to have any other encoders for your uh, trackballs or spinners. Those will all be integrated into the Howler controller. You just hook it up to one of the joystick ports and you can use it as a rotary encoder that way for your rotary devices. So I guess one way to show it off is run run a game. So I'm going to run Super Meat Boy here. I'm sure all of you have heard Super Meat Boy, so pretty sweet game by the guys at Team Meat. So let's check it out. So here we go, Super Meat Boy. So I got the start button, this one up top here, mapped. So press that guy. There you go, Super Meat Boy. So with the joystick, start the game. Let's try a level out here, so that guy. Skip it. So, as you can see, Mr. Meat Boy is moving his way across the screen. It's the controller. Ooh, there we go. Anyone who hasn't played this game, this is a pretty freaking sweet game. Especially for like old school games. I thoroughly recommend getting it. That wasn't bad with one hand. Anyway, there you go, Super Meat Boy, Howard Arcade Controller, all right. So let's just show, start up Hyperspin here. For those unfamiliar with Hyperspin, it's an amazing front end that lets you run any program that you'd have on your computer. It basically uses script files and videos and pictures of different consoles and games that you legally have bought in, and um, it will allow you to run it. So let me show you here. Start it up. So basically, I have my controller here mapped to the different controls on here. As you see, move the joystick to go through the games. So let's go old school here. So let me go to Atari 2600 here. And then with my button, I select it. And let's play one of the best games ever made. Here we go. Everybody loves E.T. on Atari, the best game ever made. You see you can make different themes for Hyperspin and stuff, it's pretty cool. So, let's go play some E.T. Basically it's running an emulator. So, i start here. Wow. So, let's control E.T. Let's fall down some pits here. So I'm just using a controller, control it. Oh, I fell down a pit. Didn't see that one coming. O E T. Oh, I fell on a pit. Oh, yeah. Didn't see that one coming, did I? Wait, am I gonna fall on a pit? Oh, 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 yeah. There we go. Fell on a pit. <laughs> Good old E T for Atari. When am I gonna fall on a pit again? Oh, oh, yeah. Fall on a pit again. All right. So that's E T for Atari. So I'll show you another cool thing here. So Future Pinball is an awesome program where you can basically make your own 3D pinball tables. So what a lot of people do is they'll make um, pinball tables based on other games like there's Back to the Future one which is like based on the original Back to the Future pinball one there's Jurassic Park it's really cool a lot of huge fan base for it so let's start it up here and as I told you before um, I will be having an accelerometer on the Howler controller which will be able to control the tilt and stuff so it's not on the beta version now but it will be on the production version for sure so let's just run one up here so let's try one somebody made here called Christmas tree so just try it out start it up so table and that I haven't set it up yet but in the um, hyperspin front front end you can set all these tables up so you just go through it with a joystick and you press a button and it automatically launches it and you have another button to get out of it it's really cool 
So let's play this table here. Let her load up. There's some really good tables that people have made in this game. Like this is just someone that somebody threw together a Christmas one and it's kind of cool. So basically you press, put some coins in with this button and then you press start with this guy here. And then I can use the plunger. So I have this map to button on my controller and then in the program running it. So you press the button and then the ball goes off of the plunger. And then using these guys on the side here and the one on the other side, I'm able to control the plungers on there. So I lost already because it's very difficult to control the camera and press the button. So push plunger again. There we go. Where's the ball? Come on. Ah, oh, again, one-handed. Here we go. Boom. As you can see. So yeah. So pretty much any game that has a joy like that'll work with a joystick or a keyboard or a mouse will work with the Howler controller. So there you go. All right. There you go, guys. So if you guys have any other questions on the Howler controller, how it works, or how to connect it or anything, please get back to me as soon as you can. Um, I'm going to be putting up a web page for the Howler controller showing all the connections and basically showing a how-to guide of how to build an arcade from scratch. So if any of you want any further details, let me know. But in the next few weeks, I'll be putting that together for all of you that have supported me and people that will continue to support. So thanks a lot for all your support, guys, and hopefully we get this off the ground.